What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be showing you how to make holes in your bumper or holes anywhere on the car basically. This is the bumper that we will want to make it look like. This is the end result. This is an M3 bumper and then we're just going to make holes just like that. So first off what you want to do is you want to create the shape that you want your holes. So if I'm just going to do a cylinder, right? So you do the cylinder under primitives and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then we're going to place it in the bumper. Okay. Now, if we want the hole to be, so this hole, you can see like the edges there. If you want it to be higher, higher definition, if we can raise it to like 30, sure. You can do like 30. Um, you want to make the hole the size that you want it to be. So place it where you want to for one of them. And then you can, if you hold shift and then drag uh, along the one of the axis, then it'll clone it. And then if you do number of copies, I'm going to do four, basically this is saying four additional copies on top of this one. So with doing four, you'll get five total. So let's do five. And then we're going to move in to, sure, we'll just do that. We need to convert these into edible poly. So you can select all and then right click convert to edible poly or I have a shortcut that does that for me. But here we go. So now it's edible poly. Next, we're going to attach all these together using the attach tool. Just click it, toggle it on, and then start clicking on all the other cylinders. Right click to get out of the attach uh, function. So now you see they are all one object. Right now it is smooth. Um, after we do this, it will appear not smooth. So just kind of hang with me here. So click on the bumper, click on the plus sign up here. Do a drop down, go to compound objects, and then for this method, we're going to use Boolean. Okay, click on Boolean. Now it will take off the smoothing groups. That's fine. We'll 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 fix that later. Under operand parameters, hit subtract. This will allow you to take away the shape. Select add operands and then click on the cylinder. So as you can see, it added it told the bumper to cut out holes in the shape of those cylinders. Right click to get out of that menu. A lot of people that come to me, they're like, hey, I did the Boolean, I did whatever, but now my, my object is all screwed up. So what do I do? So now we're gonna go to the modifier tab or what is this called? Modify, yeah. You wanna right click and convert to edible poly, okay? And then you're gonna hit the polygon selection tool or you can hit four on the keyboard, that'll do the same thing. You're gonna control A to select all scroll down now you see there's no smoothing groups at all that's why there's like it's so rough and jagged there's no smoothing groups so we're gonna do auto smooth and it's gonna it's gonna reapply those smoothing groups uh sometimes for some reason there might be edges that need to be welded i don't know why it like breaks apart but it does that so we're gonna select all of these um, well, okay, let me, let me explain why this looks like that. So this, sh like this doesn't look bad, but then when you go here, the shading's off, right? So it's because these are all like separated for some reason. So what we're doing is just click and dragging over, um, that area. So that grabs, grabs all those vertices. Once you have all those selected, then you're going to go to the edit vertices selection and click on the little uh, box next to weld. And then depending on the units that you're importing in, I, I think I have mine under meters, maybe I forgot, but we're going to reduce this down. So typically, like I know for this one, I because I did this already, it's point zero zero two centimeters. Then you can tell like if it actually did something by the before and after vertice count. We're gonna hit OK. So a lot of it looks good except this little area. So let's figure out what's going on. So it looks like it's welded. Um, so for good measure, select all again and then clear all the smoothing groups and then auto smooth again. So that will then fix that weird issue. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Cool. So that's all fixed. So that's basically how you do the holes. Uh, if you wanted to do the edge, if you hit three on the keyboard, 
that will select the border selection and then you can do that and that and that and then if you hold shift and then extrude in that will kind of give it that extra edge if we uh, go back to border selection and then if you hold control and then click on the polygon selection it will convert that selection to the, the polygon selection if that makes sense um, and then we're going to reapply smoothing groups so then it gets nice and smooth again so that's basically it um, I would just use boolean I think pro cutter does the same thing in the same way um, just maybe a little bit different order but just use boolean pro boolean I, I don't know sometimes it like does it good sometimes it doesn't do it at all so <laughs> just use pro uh, boolean for it and then do those methods for the welding but hope this helps and have a good rest of your day